So I opened the tenancy in February of 2018 in a small unit around the back of this business park. Uh, it's about 3,300 square feet, something like that. Um, and I mean, challenges, there's too many to go into, to be honest, but ultimately probably one of the biggest challenges when you first start any business is finance, you know, and not only finding the money to start the business, especially with a facility that requires a lot of equipment. You know, I had to go through, I was rejected so many times. I can't even explain for over, I mean, I actually opened up a video to release Ascendancy in 2017. That's how much, that's how close I thought I was. And then it was actually only in 2018 that I managed to do it because I was rejected so much with funding at the time. And shout out to my mum because she was the saving grace at the time. She got out a small business loan. She doesn't have a lot of money, but she got out a small loan for me to help me to get to where we are today. So I guess that was the first massive issue is the start of cost. Uh, so obviously we had that, the issue of, of funding, but once we kind of got over that hurdle, the biggest problem that we faced, I mean, I speak about we in terms of the business here, because at this point, Jack wasn't actually involved. Yeah, I, I built the website for you. Yeah, actually, Jack so did build the website. Where you, where you were connected through, yeah. through the business. And obviously you were a client of mine. Yes. yes that, was first, yeah. that was the first step. But um, yeah, so within six months of opening Ascendancy's doors in, in that unit, there was a gym that actually opened where we are today. And that I can't even explain like how that made me feel and, and everything that was going through my head at the time. But that was without a doubt the biggest issue that we faced and for a long time, we were just trying to keep our head above water. Uh, it got to, I think it was about, it was quite literally the time where Jack was going to invest when we made the decision to either go for it or, or not. I was even looking at jobs like, I was looking at uh, to be a fireman and, and all this kind of stuff. So. Yeah, it was, it was a really hard time, but um, we actually approached the landlord because our lease was going to be renewed in February of 2019. We were on a 12 month road lease and we approached him and we said, listen, we don't agree with what you've done, letting another jail in this business park, but ultimately there's nothing we can do about it. We're going to have to move if we want to keep this business going. And then he turned around to us and said, listen, you know, if you want the unit, you know, it's yours. They're not doing well, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to go into too much detail. And allowed us to take on the opportunity when we wanted to. So. I remember us discussing, and I think, I think that other unit was a great example of a learning around location as well, like because it was at the mm. back, of, back of the business park, yeah. where, where this unit is, is obviously on the main Liverpool road. So mm -hmm. I think we both had loads of conversations around the importance of where ideally ascendancy needs to be located. A front facing you. One of the biggest reasons why I'm so indebted to him is because he invested at a time where we were struggling. You know, we weren't in a position where we were making loads of money and we were doing really well. We were in a position where he believed in, in our business, you know, and, and that has always stuck by me. And even to this day, neither of us have necessarily made a profit from this business and especially Jackie. I'm fortunately actually getting paid <laughs> for being here now, but Jack still hasn't made a return on his investment to this day. And obviously with this, he's still not going to get a return on investment for a while. But I think, I think the important thing for, for us both that we talked that this was the whole conversation we had in, in that old unit. I remember that old unit didn't have really any heating. I remember us sat there with our coats on. It was like, it was a bit like a fridge at times. Um, freezer. But it, well, it was a freezer in the winter. It was, it was a freezer. Um, but we talked about that whole, like if you're, if you're, if, you know, you're not growing, if you're not focusing on growth of the business, then it almost feels like you're going backwards. Um, and we talked about, you know, going big or going home. And, and that was what ultimately led us to V2, which is, units upstairs yeah. today um, and it's been a massive success and, and I think we would have both profited from it if we mm. hadn't constantly reinvested and we're probably going to lead shortly into the whole conversation around Covid and mm. if it wasn't for Covid things would be probably been different as well so it's it's been a, a, an amazing ride, it's been a challenging ride, mm. an amazing ride. Yeah, you have to be proactive as well, like for, for us. I feel like we're really good at being proactive and especially Jack, he brings out 
a different side of me where it's great having him here um, to be able to bounce ideas off and, and have that different perspective. Yeah, with the, the amount of debates we have had over the years, health, healthy debates, good debates, but uh, yeah. yeah, challenging each other. And I think that's always what's good about having our business partner or multiple business partners is you can you can have that healthy debate, not, not just shouting at each other, but it's that challenging each other. Mm -hmm. I think we're both on a very similar page and probably, if anything, I've probably <laughs> been become a little bit less um, risky uh, over time as the business has grown for obvious reasons. But um, at the beginning, I think, you know, I was pushing very yeah. hard to like, to grow um, and sometimes didn't always play out the way we wanted it to play out. But um, we've both been from the beginning willing to risk Mm -hmm. particularly in something that we haven't spoken about yet is, is for the members and the experience like the amount of times we talk about experience for our members and driving the, the reinvestment and that's another one of the reasons why we haven't taken money from this this business yet is because we don't feel we've achieved fully that goal yet of providing the best experience for our members but we're going to talk about it perfect <laughs>